want to get up there and act cocky like like they doing something right uh no if i got to if i got to pass you my credit card what i need you for why are you here how does me how does it benefit me to make you look good in public tell me that tell me how does it benefit me to make you look good in public why i need to slide my credit card to spare your ego what that do for me nothing but you running around here talking all this cash money caca you talking but you need women to help you right and for some reason women so desperate to try to find a man that they got to help like that right if you gonna be a this is what i can't understand about a woman some of y'all some of y'all you straight for pay a lot of y'all you straight for pay You will lay down with an ugly dude that you ain't attracted to for money. Ugly. No attraction whatsoever. But when somebody turn around and tell you you really ain't straight, the only thing that you straight off of is the Lulu romance. That you really gay just engaging in heterosexual sex. When somebody tell you that, you you flip, uh-uh, uh-uh, I can't see myself with no woman. But could you see yourself with Chewbacca? Huh? Could you see yourself with Chewbacca? But you was with Chewbacca. And you trying to make Chewbacca behave like a woman. You trying to make Chewbacca behave like a woman. He looked like a real pit bull. He looked like a real pit bull. And then, it ain't like y'all with Chewbacca because he giving you five, ten grand a month. Girl, you with Chewbacca because he paid your little cricket cell phone bill. He gave you $50 on your prepaid cell phone bill. And that's why you with your back. Mm, I'm getting these. I'm getting. I ain't going to be with no man that ain't giving me no money. <laughs> that's right. I got this nigga paying my cell phone bill. <laughs> right? Bitch, it's $55. <laughs> it's $55. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> And my light bill, bits. <laughs>
There was no way you could convince me that Risa Tisa had 2020 vision. And she didn't have no glasses on when she did her little videos. I didn't see one I don't know episode. What that means. If you like, I can search the web. Hey Siri, I have no glasses. Siri, I wasn't even talking to you. And when did Siri get a male voice? I'm like, wait a minute, who the fuck is that? Who the hell? Is that? I ain't never heard Siri talk like that, ever. <laughs> wait a minute, where the fuck that come from? But look, I didn't see one, one video where Risa Tisa had on a pair of glasses. Not one. But within six minutes of her video, I was convinced that she needed a pair of glasses. She needed some corrective lenses because that dude that she said was cute. I'm like, bitch, where? We looking at the, we looking at the same, <laughs> we look at the same motherfucker. <laughs> I'm convinced that some of y'all got the eyesight of Risa, Risa Tisa. I, I know y'all dudes ain't looking good enough for you to be Delulu like you are. <clears throat> now y'all ain't in love. Y'all don't even know what love is. Because if you knew what love was, then you would know unequivocally that men ain't capable of it. If you knew what love was, you wouldn't stoop so low. People, people that vibrate on the frequency of love don't come down into the pits of hell and then harm themselves. They don't go to the pits of hell and harm themselves. Love is not blind. They lie to y'all. Love is not blind. They lie to you. That's why y'all need to take my workshop. Y'all missed it. Y'all y'all just missed it because I just had it. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let, me, let me read some of these reviews that I got on my workshop. Ooh, we... Oh, that that um, podcast, that podcast that I was uh, on, uh, that I told you that I was doing in Australia, we already got that done. So she's gonna be putting that out in a couple days from now. So I I, I keep y'all updated when that uh, gets ready to air. But here go one of them. She say, Priscilla, I can't thank you enough for helping me to understand myself and the world that I have felt disconnected. Um, too for so long. I have seen dysfunction play out time and time again, not just in relationships with family and peers, but in everyday interactions as well. I am now implementing love in its five components in every aspect of life. As much as I care deeply for women and have always wanted to help, it had been so draining and I felt like isolated. isolation was my best option. Now that I have completed the workshop, I am definitely going to do my part helping those who are ready to be helped because a task of this magnitude is much too large for just a few to embark on. Such a weight has been lifted from my soul and from this day forward, my mind will see everything exactly as it's meant to be seen. In truth, it's as if I am reborn. I am so excited for the major impact this will have on the future generations to come. There's still lots of self-work that needs to be done and now I, it will be so much more enjoyable as myself and the other women transform our lives in this planet one component at a time. I'm so grateful to have discovered this wisdom. My heart goes out to all the women that have acquired deep wounds, but I believe that we all get to a place of internal peace when our time is meant if we put in the work. This workshop was fantastic and the sense of freedom it gives you is so worth it. May the art continue to grow daily. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for everything. You are a true leader. You are love. <clears throat> That's one of them, right? Workshop, the workshop is uh, seriously 
the cream of the crop. Here another one. Princella's Love Men and Manipulation Decoded Workshop was just what I needed to finally let go. Her scientific, sociological, and philosophical research is impeccable. Not to mention her experience with men of different walks of life made the workshop very relatable. She is on another level. The workshop is interactive, fun, and touches the heart. If you need clarity, healing, and closure, this is the place for you. Mm-hmm. Workshop off the chain. Telling you. I'm telling you. It's seven hours. It's seven hours worth of straight. Yeah, it's, it's virtual. It's virtual. Y'all really do need to come. Y'all really do need to come. Y'all really need to come because y'all really need to know what love is. You shouldn't be out here guessing. You shouldn't be out here trying to to you're, you're trying to feel nothing. Your feelings have lied to you because your feelings have been manipulated with false reality. You don't know nothing. You don't know what love is. You don't know who men are. You simply don't know. And you need to be retrained because guess what? You're not going to be able to get along with other women without this information. You're not. You too program with male ideologies. Yo, you need to be wiped clean. Everything you think you know need to go in the trash. And you need to put something new in your head. All right? Here go, here, here's, here's another one. Dear Princella, the workshop was worth the price. Thank you for everything. I'm still mentally processing everything you taught us. You have inspired me to dig deep and truly love myself fully. Thank you for teaching us what love truly is. I will forever be changed. My mind has forever been expanded. It was great to be with other intelligent women on the same journey. You have also inspired me even more to educate myself, to think critically, to analyze, explore, find deeper meaning, and so much more. I understand now the true state of this world. Ladies, bring a pen and a paper and please take notes because you will be taken to school. Mm. Right? Workshop ain't but 550. Right? Ain't but 550. And it could be a hell of a lot more because you got people out here charging thousands upon thousands of dollars to give you bullshit. Right? I, I give you seven hours worth of my time and, and, and information that, uh, that can go with you for the rest of your life. 550, you can't, you can't, you can't pay for what you get in 550, right? This, this is knowledge that you will take with you for the rest of your life. 